This year's Kentucky Derby is set to be full of firsts, including having a brand new paddock. But for Wiley Cottle, getting to be the first ever artist to design both the Woodford Reserve bottle and the official artwork for Kentucky Derby 150, that is something special. To bring it back home and bring a Kentucky boy was just so humbling um, and exciting, and I'm very, very proud. Cynthia and a native Wiley Cottle says he grew up with a love for drawing. He gained notoriety at Eastern Kentucky University, where he'd often draw chalk art around campus. But his first big break came when he was asked to paint a derby themed mural in his hometown. Authentic was the, the horse that won that year, and he's from Cynthiana. And they asked me to paint um, a mural of him with some roses. Roses then became Cottle's calling card. So much so, it eventually landed him the gig with Woodford and Churchill Downs. We like to honor our heritage and our roots, and a lot of our roots are based in Kentucky. So picking the artist for both Woodford and for Churchill Downs was extremely important for us to find someone local, a local talent. Cottle says his design pays homage to the past, present, and future of the Kentucky Derby, featuring hundreds of multicolored roses, each with their own meaning. Historically, when the roses were originally pink and white, that were given to the winning horse. And then I've made, made up these kind of golden roses to commemorate 150. The red roses for the roses we give to the horse now, and the blue roses, which are a big part of my artwork. Cottle says seeing his name on the side of the Woodford bottle on Tuesday was a dream come true. And this dream, he says, is one he still hasn't woken up from. Still dreaming, still dreaming. Ask me May 5th and see if, see if the dream's over. Addie Miners, WLKY News.